Um, so, after giving them my thoughts on all the individual uh, new members of the Knight family, there are some things I really do need to uh, point out. The family does look very empty. Like, within the whole group, there's... There's what? There's, um... Well, there's only four characters. When the cart has arrived, okay, yeah. If we're, if we're being really petty and technical, when the cart has arrived, it was... It was... It, actually, no, I can't, because it was, it was quite a big bunch. Obviously, you had Mick, you had Linda, you had uh, Tina, uh, you had Johnny and Nancy, and obviously Shirley moved in with them as well. She was the original carter. Um, but that being said, it was a big bunch. Obviously, Lee joined later on, so did Stan. So the Carter family had a huge um, household. This one feels very minimal um, for uh, you know for you know for newcomers. Which, um, having said that, it it's really surprising how how little there really are of the Knight family, unless more are planning on being introduced as time goes on, uh, or like I said. Uh, they're not going to be long term. I don't think that George Knight will see. I don't think George will be here this time next year. I think there's a strong chance he will be the one that's killed off, and that um, Colin Salmon has only signed uh, a six-month contract. Uh, I think that is a, a big possibility. I don't think any of them have signed really long contracts in fact i think molly rainford's probably signed a year uh so is gina or uh francesca henry uh, i think harriet thorpe is probably the only one that is going to be a bit more long term and even then that 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 depends on until the, whether or not the actor actress wants to go back to theater because that is her bread and butter by the sounds of it uh that being said this does leave me hope that maybe one or even two of the Carter of, of Mick and Linda's children will return. Uh, I'm hoping the most obvious one that will come back is Johnny, considering he was always the closest to Linda. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see either of the Carter girls coming back, uh, especially this soon after their exits. You know, it's been just under a year since Nancy left and with Frankie um, over six months. Uh, at this point, so ho hopefully we will see um, one or two of them come back. There's definitely space for them, you know. With it being that minimal, there's only five people going to be living in the Vic now. The Vic's, well, when the Carters first arrived, there was loads of people. They're all a bit cramped and stuff, because I remember um, there was a nice little scene with Mick and Nancy. Uh, just talking about Nancy's... Um, anxiety stuff living in such a, um, a crowded area uh, but I do think that it's it will be really good to see the Carters uh, and the Knights really come together as, as a unit um, obviously it's very different it's not going to be the same as it was from uh, well from probably 2014 to 2016 because that's arguably when the Carters were at their absolute biggest um, you know, after Nancy left, the Carter's family started to drop like flies. You know, Aunt Babe had left, and then obviously Sylvie and Lee and all these other characters from that family. Um, so it is good that this new family is uh, definitely coming into the fold. However, there is that strong Carter link, uh, which is nice. It's very nice, actually, because it just kind of roots. The family is quite interconnected with everyone else on the square. Um, like, for example, when... Ian and um, Sharon took over. Obviously, Sharon is Linda's best friend, and um, Mick and Ian have, have obviously interacted with each other before. Um, it it kind of roots the Carter family's DNA into the show, which is really nice because I think they are probably some of the best uh, characters of the 2010s, even if. The original family started in 2006 with the Wicks family uh, and Shirley. Yeah, it was 2000. Yeah, 2006. But uh, yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see the extended uh, family of Linda, uh, and I'm glad that this is kind of this is keeping her in. 
I do think this is just kind of holding on to it by quite a th quite a thin stretch, however, um, since obviously Mick and Linda, their DNA was embedded into the show. Um, I think it's quite obvious that they're trying to their very best to keep Linda uh, of of significance to the series, and I think I think it could go either way. It could either work or it could be a massive flop. I I like to think that it's going to work. It it could work. Um, you know, Linda has needed her mum for a while, and also it kind of leaves the it leaves the possibility of the the Vic being in strong hands if uh, Kelly Bright ever does decide to leave. Hopefully, she doesn't. Um, but I do think that if Kelly Bright was to leave. She would probably sell the Vic over to George. Uh, and obviously Elaine would just keep her share of the pub. Um, but yeah. It's a it's a very big... It's a very big um, event. This is the first time new characters have come to take over the Vic since Mick and Linda. So it is quite a monumental um, moment for the, for the series. Um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how it how it happens. Uh, that I know their first appearance is on Thursday the first of June, which I think is a very uh, good you know start of summer, start of this family. Um, I think there's there's an inf infinite possibilities for what they can do. I do think they are going to leave the door open for more characters to be introduced, especially um, Anna and Gina's mum slash you know, George's ex will probably come in. And there'll be a lot of drama there. Um, one, uh, the one thing I'm hoping for is that these characters become a bit more involved in the actual square itself. Because that was one thing with the Carters, is that they were so loved by everyone on the square, they just didn't really do much with them. Like, obviously, um, most of the, the characters from the Carters' storylines were either written in as new characters for their story, for the Carters, for example, Stuart, Callum... Um, Woody, uh, Faye, all these other characters that were written in uh, for the Carter's narrative, and then they, some of them just kind of stuck out. But in terms of classic um, EastEnders characters, they never really interacted with the Carter's as much. Uh, obviously, Max did towards the end of his stint on EastEnders when Mick punched him over a table, which was a brilliant scene. Um, and you know, there's, there's been other characters here and there, like Zach. Um, Phil, in some ways, some ways, not really a, you know, obviously the whole Aiden storyline uh, was a big um, tie between the Mitchells and the Carters, as well as the early days with Ben and Johnny, and, um, uh, you know, just, just tons of, tons of, tons of different characters, really, uh, but not, um, in the Mitchells, but, like, sorry, I'm just, There you go. Yeah, there's tons of characters. Um, I do hope they come a bit more involved. I think there's obvious like romantic um, elements they can do with it. And yeah, things like that. 